What's up guys, it's Andrew at Elite Gaming HQ, and I have another benchmark video for you. In this video, we're going to test Player Unknown's Battlegrounds with my very own GTX 1080. Now see, I kind of wanted to do the 1070 before the 1080, but I actually don't have that PC built yet. I'm waiting on a power supply, which will be delivered Tuesday, so I'll try to get it built quick then, so I can get the benchmarks for that. But nevertheless, I still wanted to put a benchmark video out, as I've done many others in this series, for this particular game. So it looks like we're going to skip ahead and do the 1080. If you're interested in watching any of my benchmark videos for this particular game, I'll put all the links in the description. They'll be right under the heading. Now, as I said, we'll be using my video card, which is a GTX 1080 Strix. These are the benchmark numbers that I got and mileage will vary. Now, before we get deep into the video, I'd just like to ask everyone to go down to the bottom and click that bell and join our notification squad. You'll be able to get notifications when I stream or when I put out videos. I've been streaming a lot of PUBG lately, I've been trying to get better, and I feel like I'm progressing pretty well. So I hope to see you guys there, and if you do hit that bell at the bottom, let me know in the comments below by saying notification squad. This way, when I do my shout out of all the new notification squad members that I do every couple weeks, I'll be able to throw your name in there so everybody can see that you're a part of the family. But enough of that. Let's get into the video. Now, as I said in the other Player Unknown Battlegrounds benchmark videos, geez, I need to just start saying PUBG. Anyway, this game uses the Unreal 4 engine, which gives you great visuals in some cases, but the problem is it's very hard on the hardware. So a lot of these cards we've been testing, they kind of suffer unless you run something a modified low. But the good thing is, most people that play this game want to run it on low. For example, the foliage setting. It actually was hurting me that when I first started playing this game, I had everything on high or ultra, and the foliage, the grass, I was hiding in thinking they can't see me. Well, they could see me perfectly fine because it wasn't there on their screen as well as it's harder for you to see the enemy. Not only just when you're crouched or prone seeing through the grass, if they're crawling through the grass, it's hard for you to see them. And a lot of times in this game, sneaking up on someone is very important. So a lot of people run these games in lower settings anyway, which is not a surprise because if you look at the top 10 CSGO players, quite a few of them run all their settings on low, as well as some of them even run a 4x3 aspect ratio. So when they're shooting at someone, it gives them a wider target. So this is nothing new. So if you do have one of those lower end video cards, Cards, don't worry, the game doesn't look tremendously better when it's on Ultra or anything. But these are the GTX 1080 numbers. So for low, with my GTX 1080, I got an average of 151 FPS and only dipping down to a low of 110. So if I run this game on low, I'm clearing 100 FPS, well really 110 FPS at all times. Which I only have a 60 hertz monitor, so for me, there's no real point in running everything in low anyway. Next, at medium. For the medium settings, I have an average of 180. 8 FPS and at hard points it'll dip down to 70 and that's if I run everything at medium. 70 is my low point. Now keep in mind the gameplay in the background is from my rig and I do use VSync. I know a couple people said that I shouldn't be using it because it adds a little bit of input lag. I don't really see it but what I do notice is when I don't have VSync on I get a little bit of screen tearing here and there but it also messes up my aiming because I feel like when the frames go high or low it changes just I mean just a incremental small change to how my cursor moves across the screen and it can make me miss shots kind of don't like it so personally i feel like v-sync is the way for me to go which locks me at about 60 fps which is what my monitor accepts now next on ultra i actually first started running this game in ultra but i couldn't get a solid 60. as you'll see from these numbers i would drop to the low 50s and that was unacceptable so mainly i run my game on mostly high but the ultra numbers are an average of 80 fps dropping down to a low of 52. so even with the mighty gtx 1080 you cannot sustain a 60 FPS in Ultra. Combine that with the fact that I run my games in 1440p, so you see I have like a high variant of when I play. Also, one thing I want to note is all these tests were done before I applied reshade. If you watch any of my other videos, you will see it looks different, and that's because I was waiting to get these numbers before I added in reshade, which could negatively affect my performance. Which I don't know if it does or not, I just didn't want to add in another variable, I wanted to keep things consistent. It's hard enough to benchmark this game as it is. Well, as I said before, all the other videos will be in the description. 
description. The GTX 1070 video will be coming up in less than a week. And if you like this kind of format, I might be doing some tests with Shadow of War. I want to see how that runs on PC. But most of the computers I use for these tests are out and going by now, but I still have a GTX 1050 Ti laying around, an RX 460, a GTX 1050, I'll have the GTX 1070, and my GTX 1080. So I could do a few of those tests. But anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed. Let me know in the comments below if you like what I'm doing here, and I'll catch you on the next one. My name is Andrew, and this is Elite Gaming HQ. Thanks for watching, guys.